6 Eastern. And really, whether you need it or not, it's a virtual medicine cabinet in your tap water if you live in many, many areas across the country. There's a scary new report out today. The Associated Press did a, a big amount of research on this, and the findings show that there were traces of prescription drugs in the water supply used by 41 million Americans in some of the biggest cities in the U.S. The list includes over-the-counter pain medication, mood stabilizers, even hormones. CNN's Elizabeth Cohen joins us now from the Medical Update Desk in Atlanta. First up, explain where they found it and what it is that they found, Elizabeth. Well, the Associated Press, Karen, they spent five months investigating this, and they looked at various municipal water supplies. Not all of them keep track of whether or not they're pharmaceuticals, but the ones that do, they all had traces of various medicines. And I'm going to give you a list. This will give you some idea of the kinds of things that they found. For example, in Atlanta, where I am right now, they found that the water contained traces of antibiotics, blood pressure drugs, in Cincinnati, cholesterol drugs, they found a trace of one of those, and estrogen that women sometimes take for medicinal reasons. And in New York City, they found, New York City, they found a trace of a seizure drug and an anti-anxiety drug. Now, to give you sort of the big picture, how many drugs did they find in the drinking water? In Philadelphia, they found trace amounts of 56 different drugs. In New York City, they found traces of 16 drugs, and in northern New Jersey, 13 drugs. Now, these are teeny, teeny, tiny amounts. That's really important to say right up front. It's also important to say that no one really knows what effect this has on our health, because really, they're kind of just reporting this for the first time. But the Associated Press went to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, and said, you know, what's up here? What, what's going on? And I'll read you the EPA's response. The response is, we're taking it very seriously. We recognize there's a growing concern about the presence of pharmaceuticals in our water. We're evaluating the potential health effects of contaminants at low levels, when they occur, and how best to remove them. Now, I'm sure the question that right now is on everyone's mind is how in the world did drugs get into our drinking water? Well, it's, it's, it's not very pretty, and I'll give you the sort of sanitized version. We all take drugs, and our body does not absorb 100% of everything. Some of it passes through our body, ends up in sewage, sewage is then treated, and ends up back in the water system. Here. Right, and I think a lot of the questions also, um, you know, because it, it, it's an incomplete picture, I guess, to say, okay, so Philadelphia has caffeine, and, and this one has this one. It's because they all, some municipalities don't do any testing. Some only test for certain compounds, and so you're not really necessarily getting a complete picture. But the other question is, what do you do with that information? Uh, is there any uh, way that you can find out how uh, detrimental it may be? And also, is there any way you can avoid ingesting it if you find yourself concerned? Yeah, you really asked a couple of different great questions here, so let me take them apart. First of all, if you want to know what's in your water, you can certainly go to your water system and ask. But as you said, not everyone tests for everything. In fact, some people don't test for much at all, so you may not be getting a full answer. And as far as what it means for your health, that is very difficult to know because people really haven't done studies on what these trace amounts mean for our bodies. It's tough to know. So, of course, the next question is, well, what about bottled water? Well, I, I hate to sound so pessimistic here, Bottled water often just is repackaged tap water, and, and that doesn't help us much at all either. Or even sometimes if it's spring water, it could still possibly contain these trace amounts. Humans basically have an impact everywhere, and those filters at home, they are not sensitive enough to get rid of the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, we actually brought it uh, our American morning water purification. I guess this does us no good either, Elizabeth. So, uh, you know, we are going to be asking about this throughout the morning, how concerned people are. Again, if you don't really necessarily know. You're talking about trace amounts. And they haven't done a, a ton of research on exactly uh, what that means for us long term. But fascinating uh, nonetheless and a great uh, investigation by the AP. Thanks for breaking it down for us, Elizabeth.